What's up with the gang? It's your boy, Josh. Back with another video, man. Today we got... Hold on, before I even say the title. All right, boom. Well, I'm going to say the title. This video is called Dance with the Devil, Immortal Technique. Shout out to the Discord. Uh, they, I'm going to shout out the dude. Shout out to Armina. He said y'all should react to Dancing with the Devils. Let me see. His, let me see the name. Armina zero seven one zero one four. Yeah. All right. So I actually, I actually did. You know, I be doing my research on videos. And look, y'all, I got notes. I did my research. All right. So what makes you want to do do this one? I'm finna, I'm finna tell you. Okay. All right. Okay, um, wait, wait. His name is Immortal Technique. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Immortal Technique. All right, and I was watching, I was watching this uh, bootleg Kev interview with the dude, and uh, on on the song he made, and it's like a good, a a good storytelling song. Oh, okay. And it's like, um, shoot, I just messed it up. Okay, got it's it. basically what is this? Is what I heard, it's basically like a realistic tale of uh, people who feel peer pressure into like joining the game. Like, um, you know, they don't want to feel left out. People who feel bad for not following the crowd and then they uh, go commit violence to be cool. You know? Okay. I, man. Like trying to prove something like to other people. And that's kind of what I got got from that interview. Um, all I know is this is deep. I heard it's deep. Like it's a deep. Okay. Cool. What'd cool, you say? Cool. Controversial? It could be controversial, but I just like stuff that has meaning in it. Yeah, this this. I, or, I'm, really, I'm, or, I'm excited for this. One even if it's not just meaning, um, something with a good, uh, just a good storyteller, somebody somebody that that can paint good pictures. Um, get I get tired of hearing about females and uh, how much money you got and and you know who you mad at. But no, nah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm I'm ready to do this one. Um, okay, man, he's six I want to shout out to uh, Chad Peterson. Um, I believe that's right. Uh, so, gotcha, sir. <laughs> mm. And we're not gonna catch every line, bro. So oh, I get sick of that. Hold on, real quick. You see that um, background? Police, uh -huh. NYPD. You should really, um, here, we should do this. Do you want to take this out first? And they saying this is like a true story. Obviously, perception-wise, as a kid, you don't, I didn't associate a Green Lantern and a more. Real quick. Well, even though it makes sense, like musically, and it was dope, but yeah, I think it, like like you said, like you pointed out so much stuff early because again, at that time we didn't have access to YouTube and like jumping down a rabbit hole, and it's like, wait a minute, what is he talking about? I'm, like, I'm just get to it. You know, where, I think like we maybe are not hip to your. All right, here we go. Be found, and they murdered this man's son mm. to get him to come to the funeral so they could kill him. Second Amendment guy, but you idea. have to respect the weapon. There's no such thing as a safe gun. These people were out here thinking that they could get away with a crime and that they wouldn't be found, and they murdered this man's son mm. to get him to come to the funeral so they could kill him. Jeez. This is the type of shit that people were dealing with. That's one of your... Would you say that's your most popular song? It's like one of them, right? Probably, yeah. Yeah. Dance um, with the for devil. people who... Because there's going to be people watching this YouTube video who subscribe, who, who maybe are not hip to your catalog. That's fine. Give us a break. Like For people who haven't heard Dance with the Devil, what is the premise of the record? Well, I mean, without giving the entire thing away, I would say that um, it's definitely a very realistic tale of what happens when people feel peer pressured to commit violence to join a gang or when they feel like they have to overcompensate for not being as tough as everybody thinks they is and they commit mm -hmm. violence and do horrible things to people to try to prove something to somebody. I remind yes. individuals that are really living in the street. I swear this is how my uh, peers are. My generation, everybody want to be gangster just like, just for an image, like. The thing about it is that these kind of, the folk that, that participate and do that kind of stuff, they're really, they're lost. 
but they are searching for something. The reason why people join gangs, the reason why people, um, or the not not the only reason, but the main reason why people join gangs is the same reason why they why they uh, why they will join a club. The same reason why they'll get involved with certain cliques and certain groups. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I like that analogy. No, this is fact. No, I'm saying I like that. Like, okay, I agree. The reason why they do it though is because they're searching for something. Do you know the thing that there's? Is this being recorded? Is this are you recording yeah. this? Okay, I didn't know. Just cut that part out when I ask. Is this being recorded? <laughs> it's good. That is good. Okay, but the reason why they do that is because. Well, matter of fact, do you do you know what they're searching for? No. Okay. Um my guess, or not guess, but I'll say to find comfort. Okay, they're looking they're looking for comfort, <laughs> but but more but but even way more they'll find comfort. Looking for validation. Can't. To an extent, you close, you 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 with it. I see. You're it. right there. I see no. It's a TikTok. You're right there. Shut up. <laughs> what they're really looking for, they're looking for belonging. They want to be a part of something whereby they feel accepted. They feel accepted. They feel justified. They feel like I am a part of something that's bigger than me. Mm-hmm. And the unfortunate, the unfortunate thing about about you know about our human nature is that. In our search for belonging, what 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 really gets missed is that you don't have to worry about belonging, just worry about being. And when you when you can be who you are, you belong everywhere and you belong nowhere all at the same time. You don't have to fit in, just be. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. All right people to try to prove something to somebody. I remind individuals that are really living in the street, we don't deal with gratuitous violence. Mm -hmm. We deal with people that have offended or hurt us who have come into our neighborhood and caused problems. The premise of going into another neighborhood and just trying to hurt people right. doesn't make sense now. I mean, even if you ask the essay that run each block, they'll be like, why would I start a war for no reason? But in New York City, it was structured differently. It wasn't so much gangs. It was crews back in New York. Right, right, right. So if you heard about a story like this, it became an urban legend immediately. And not just that, Kev, it was that the story was always a little bit different. Instead of it being the guy's mom, it would be the person's stepsister, it would be the aunt, it would be someone related. And I think when you have tales about, you know, murder or killing people, it's aggrandized some sometimes in hip hop to the point that you never really see the impact of what that is. My like, even gosh. if y'all kill someone that's not a kid, if y'all kill someone that's thirty years old, you think that's not somebody's son? Thank you. Of course. You don't think you have or a target on your back, right? You don't think you. that Best somebody's coming back for you. Oh. And see, that's the other thing. That was gross rascal. The thing about it is that is that they don't know. It sound like Ice Cube. It don't know. It don't show. <laughs> But but it's like they don't see, and neither do they necessarily care about the aftermath. You don't know what it's like to 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 be sitting on the front row, slow walking and 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 low singing, and then you don't you don't see what it feels like to for them to finally come home, and when they get home, they are. They are looking on the dresser and they see the cologne from this person who will never, they'll never smell it on them again. You walk into the closet, you see a, you see a pair of shoes that they'll never wear again. You'll see their favorite shirt. You see all of this and, and people are left ripped up emotionally. And then what the perpetrators have to do is act like they don't feel it. Some really don't feel it. And those are the ones that actually need to be in jail. But for those that actually. Cold killers. Yes. For people who actually have to deal with the aftermath, the emotional torment is is horrendous. And it's just, it's, it's not cool, man. You seen how he was talking about New York and he got NYPD police officer? Yeah. So you done with that? Yeah. Okay. I, 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 I like that, though. That was, that was, that was cool. 
Murphy. Um, I like I like the showing of that. That was good. Good job on the research with that, Josh. And I like the I like the bells and the beat and stuff behind it because it's like you really. It sounds like a mystery, but it also sounds like it could be like it's the backdrop just for a good story. And they say this. Well, he said it's based off a true story. So okay. Sorry. I once knew a nigga whose real name was William. Okay. Yeah, you're going to like this. Wait, 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 wait. I don't like what I just heard. Here's the thing. This sound like he likes some old. How, when did this drop? I'm going to say this. Four years ago. Um. I'm 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 just I'm just gonna say this. Some are gonna agree, some will disagree, some will justify, some will just 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 hear the point. I understand that people, a lot of people who are not of uh the African American community, they feel entitled and they feel uh. enabled to use the N-word. That doesn't fly with me. The reason why it doesn't fly with me is because even even me, I may say it privately, but I don't want to say it, um, and I have to stop saying it. At the same time, they don't have the right, if you will, to say it. It would be like this. Mex he, Mexican. I feel like Mexicans do. Why? Just, they're just, they're just the speak. closest race to black. And they, Mexicans and blacks, we together. So why don't you call Mexican people spicks? What is that? That's, that, that's the N-word for Mexicans. I ain't never heard of that, but I okay. feel like me, I, I ride with Mexicans. I, I ride with every race, but I, I feel like they the closest to. I ride race, with them know? too, but there's a boundary that that needs to needs to remain when it comes down to using racial slurs. And I don't see nothing wrong with the N word, really. Like, but and we, that and that. So why is why is it? That, and the reason he brought it up, we had a conversation um, a couple of days ago about the N word. The reason why I brought it up, it's it, in my language, and I feel like off camera I say it. And I feel like on camera, like, let like, me, why do I? no, no, the, the reason why I'm bringing it up is because I don't think it's cool for other races to turn around and use that word, um, uh, even in a casual conversation when it's not okay for, for another person of another community to turn around and use that slur even casually or even as a brotherhood. It is not cool. And so if I start, if I run around and I call an Italian person a WAP and say, well, you know, I'm just being cool. You know, we just we we cool like that, right? You know, I, I haven't earned that right. You start well, start walking around and you address white people as crackers and hunkies and all of that stuff. There would be an issue with that. So all I'm saying is everybody needs to stop using it because it's because the the racial slurs aren't used amongst other communities. Is the reason why it's happened with us is because we turn around and we use it as a term of endearment, but we use it as a term term of endearment amongst us. And so, so if you're not, it's like you have a relationship with certain folk and y'all can clown about certain things because you're within that whole scope, within that whole community. Yeah. Everybody hasn't earned the right to be within that community. It's like, you may, you may say something to your brother because he knows you and you know him, whatever the case may be. You may have a pet name for him or a pet name for your wife. Somebody from the outside ain't got no business calling your wife by that pet name. Mm -hmm. They haven't earned that right. And so... That's the same principle that I that I feel when it comes down to, this was, to using this the This is gonna be a long reaction video. My bad, my bad, my, but you started it. <laughs> no, you did. <laughs> I, he started it. I once knew a nigga whose real name was William. His primary concern was making a million, being the illest hustler that the world ever seen. He used to fuck movie stars and sniff coke in his dreams. Mm. A corrupted young mind at the age of 13. Nigga never had a father and his mom was a fiend. She put the pipe down, but for every year she was sober. Her son's heart simultaneously grew colder. He started hanging out. Okay, I see why y'all say storytelling. I see why. Yeah. Selling bags. See, when you can paint a picture as a lyricist, Immortal. Technique. I can, I can, I can, I can roll with you all day. Now, in in word usage aside, he's spitting, and I, I love, I love the mental pictures that he's drawing. In the projects, checking the young chicks, looking for hit and run prospects. He was fascinated by material objects, but he understood money never bought respect. 
Hear that? Mm-hmm. Money never bought respect. It bought happiness. Built a reputation because he could hustle and no, steal, doesn't. but got locked once and didn't hesitate to squeal. So criminals he chilled with didn't think he was real. You see, me and niggas like this have never been equal. I don't project my insecurities on other people. He fiended for props like addicts with pipes and needles, and so he felt he had to prove to everyone he was evil. A mm. feeble-minded young man with infinite potential, the product of a ghetto-bred capitalistic mental. Coincidentally, dropped out of school to sell weed, dancing with the devil, smoke. Till his eyes would bleed, but he was sick of selling trees and gave in to his greed. Mm. Okay, wait, what's the dude name? Real quick, William. So William is trying to be a gangster, basically. Okay. That's what I'm getting from it. Paint a picture. Everyone trying to be trife, never face the consequences. You probably only did a month for minor offenses. Ask a nigga doing life if he had another chance. But then again, there's always the wicked that knew in advance. Dance forever with the devil on a cold cell block. But that's what happens when you rape, murder, and sell rock. Devils mm. used to be gods, angels that fell from the top. There's no diversity because we're burning in the... Me- ah. <coughs> Good is deep. Did you hear what he said? And see, even from a theological perspective, that's correct. He said, devils used to be God's angels that fell from the top. All angels, even from the Bible, all angels, they look alike. The only difference between an angel and a demon is who they serve, is their allegiance. They're Mm. all, they're almighty. (laughs) I'm serious. They're all, all of them are powerful. And so, so yeah, I'm sorry, but he's right like this. Billy started robbing niggas anything he could do to get his respect back in the eyes of his crew. Mm. Starting fights over little shit up on the block. Stepped up to selling mothers and brothers to crack rock. Working overtime for making money for the crack spot. Hit the jackpot and wanted to move up to cocaine. Fulfilling the Scarface fantasy stuck in his brain. Tired of the block niggas treating him the same. He wanted to be major like the cutthroats and the thugs. But when he tried to step to him, niggas showed him no love. They told him any motherfucking wow. child can sell drugs. Any Bitch nigga with a gun can bust slugs Any nigga Facts. with a red shirt can front like a blood Even Puffy smoked the motherfucker up in the club <laughs> Oh, did you hear that, that, that melody change? With the blood? No, 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 with the song Oh, yeah I like that, that, that Who, who that, is Puffy? That was real subtle I'm assuming he, he's talking about oh, I thought that sounded like an old rapper You know y'all got these I, I think he's talking about Puff Daddy, but I mean Did he smoke somebody in the club? I don't know if he did or not, um, but evidently that's that's what he's speaking towards. But only a real thug can stab someone till they die. Standing that was in front a modulation. Of them, staring straight Ooh. into their eyes. Billy realized that these men were well guarded and they wanted to test them before business started. Suggested raping a bitch to prove he was cold hearted. So now he had a choice between going back to his life or making money with made men. Up in the sight, his dreams about cars and now ice made him agree. A hardcore nigga is all he ever wanted to be. And so he met them Friday night at a quarter to three. Oh, I see the change, yeah. Everyone trying to be trife, never face the consequences. You probably only did a month for minor offenses. Mm. Ask a nigga doing life if he had another chance. But then again, there's always the wicked that knew in advance. Dance forever mm. with the devil on a cold cell block. But that's what happens when you rape, murder, and sell rock. Devils used to be God's angels that fell from the top. There's no. Ain't that what you just said? Yeah, but he's, he's, he, he said it earlier, which is why I spoke on it. Oh, I ain't kissed it. No diversity because we're burning in the melting pot. They drove around the project slow while it was raining. Smoking blunts, drinking and joking for entertainment Until they saw a woman on the street walking alone Three in the morning, coming back from work on the way home And so they quietly got out the car and followed her Walking through the projects, the darkness swallowed her They wrapped a shirt around their head and knocked her onto the floor mm. This is it kid, now you got your chance to be raw So Billy yoked her up and grabbed the chick by the hair And dragged her into a lobby that had nobody there She struggled hard but they forced her to go up the stairs They got to the roof and then held her down on the ground Screaming Shut the fuck up and stop moving around The shirt covered her face But she screamed and clawed So Billy stomped on the bitch Till he broke in the jaw mm. Mm. He really like paint a picture like, I'm real, like, I feel like I'm at a movie That That is what artistry is about It's the difference between being a rapper And an artist Hold on, Yes so low. Yes 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 I'm cutting the light on Because that's That's, that's 
right. See, this, this is what I like. So I did my thing. <laughs> they did. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, shoot. Them dirty bastards knew exactly what they were doing. They kicked her until they cracked the ribs and she stopped moving. Blood leaking through the cloth. She cried silently. Wait, wait, wait. And wait. Then okay, okay. I want to rewind. I want, uh, it's, yeah, it's, I want this listen. is so subtle, but it's so smooth. They cracked Watch the this. ribs and she stopped moving. Blood leaking through the cloth. She cried silently. And then they all proceeded no, no, to no, no, rape no. moving. Blood leaks mm. knew exactly what they were doing. Billy stomped on the bitch till he broke in the jaw. Them dirty bastards knew exactly what they were doing. Okay. He places his feelings into this. He's painting a picture. Now he's pouring his own thought. I love it. He's pouring his own feelings into it because now he, he describes them and he calls them the dirty bastards. Mm -hmm. That is his own projection into it. But I love it because he's being consumed by his own writing. It is, it's, it's, it's smooth. They kicked her until they cracked the ribs and she stopped moving Blood leaking through the cloth, she cried silently And then they all proceeded to rape her violently Billy was made to go first, but each of them took a turn Ripping her up and choking her until her throat burned A broken jaw mumbled for God, but they weren't concerned When they were mm. done and she was lying, bloody broken and bruised One of them niggas pulled out a brand new 22 They told him that she was a witness for what she'd gone through And if he killed her, he was guaranteed a spot in the crew He thought about it for a minute, she was practically Don't dead Don't do it, bro so he leaned over and put the gun right to her head. Mm. I'm falling and I can't turn back. That's deep. I love it. I'm falling and I can't Don't turn do it, back. Bro. Right before he pulled the trigger and ended a life. He thought about the cocaine with the platinum and ice. And he felt strong standing along with his new brothers. Cocked the gat to her head and pulled back the shirt cover. But what he saw made him start to cringe and stutter. Because he was staring into the eyes Ooh. of his own mother. She looked back at him and cried because he had forsaken. No. Ooh. No. Ooh. 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 Nah, that dang. He this, leveled up. This Billy, right? He Is leveled up. He leveled up. Imagine. He leveled up. Matter of fact, I've heard stories like this. Imagine you jump at somebody and you find out it's, it's your own people. And see, see, that's Boy. why that's why it's so crazy for you to turn a blind eye. To people who are being maimed and hurt and all of that. I just, I wish, man, that you could really help the people who are doing stuff like this to really see who they're doing it to. Because I don't believe that everybody that's, 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 that's involved in stuff like this, that's not how they start out. They become hardened by life and they become hardened by, by, by different situations and environments and poverty and all this other stuff. But it's like at the end of the day, we are, we're human beings who connect. And the level that we could, man, ugh. Dang, that's, that's tough. The gat to her head and pulled back the shirt cover But what he saw made him start to cringe and stutter Cause he was staring into the eyes of his own mother She looked back at him and cried cause he I hear X in him X, X, Tentacion I hear him in him It might be weird but I do His influence? No, like the his This kind of how, yeah Okay he was staring into the eyes of his own mother. She looked back at him and cried because he had forsaken her. She cried more painfully, and when they were raping her, his whole world stopped. He couldn't Wait, so he's ra he raped his own mama? Oh, my. And it's a true? Nah. Nah, where the news coverage? I've, I've heard stories like, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Now this, well, I don't know if this is cried more painfully, and when they were raping her, his whole world stopped. He couldn't even contemplate his corruption had successfully changed his fate, and he remembered mm. how his mom used to come home late, working hard for nothing. Cause now what was he worth? He turned away from the woman that had once given him birth, and crying out to the sky, cause he was lonely and scared. But only the devil responded, cause God wasn't there. Oh, and right oh, then he knew what it was oh, to be. Oh ho ho! Hello there. Oh ho ho ho! God, dog. So I did my thing. God, been scared, dog. But only the devil responded because God wasn't there. And right then he knew what it was to be empty and cold. And so he jumped off the roof and died with no soul. They say death. He said he jumped off the roof and died with no soul. 
This thing takes so many twists. Um, just to 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 know or to feel. Okay, it's, if nothing else, I think he said some, something to the effect about it being at least loosely based or partially based on true, on truth. For that, for this to be even remotely true is tragic at every turn. But, oh gosh, when he said only the devil responded because God wasn't there, that's hell. That in and of itself is hell. Come on. Tell me y'all don't hear eggs in him, bro. This gonna be way too place, long. But I doubt it. After that, they killed his mother and never spoke about it. And listen, because the story that I'm telling is true. Wow. Because I was there with Billy Jacobs and I raped his mom too. And now the devil follows me everywhere that I go. In fact, I'm sure he's standing among one of you at my shows. In every street cypher listening to little thugs flow. He could be standing. <laughs> hmm. Hold on, hold on, Dang. hold on. I love oh God, dog. Okay. <clears throat> there is... There's almost nothing more redemptive and more powerful than you being able to stand in your own garbage and tell the truth about what you've done. To hold yourself accountable... For where you been, what you did, and all of that is that's the sign of being being a man. You cannot change your past. You can't. And you can't change, you can't change what's already taken place. But you can, you can have a moment in which you decide that your right now is right now, and you can make a change. You have right now, you have the choice to, to make a change to do better. For him to put that out there like that is just that's, I have mixed feelings, but that's, that's, that's powerful. Right next to you and you wouldn't know The devil grows inside the hearts of the selfish and wicked White, brown, yellow and black color is not restricted You have a self-destructive destiny when you're inflicted And you'll be one of God's children that fell from the top There's no diversity because we're burning in the melting pot So when the devil no wants to dance with you, you better say never Because a dance with the devil might last you forever oh -ho! Yo, all it take is one God, dog Hold on, let it go, let it go, let it go. All right, never mind. <laughs> My gosh. How you feel about that? He's such a good... I'm glad I did my research. He's such a good, good storyteller in this. To explain the truth <laughs> and break it down like this. That's just incredible. That's incredible. Now nah, that was good. That's incredible. That <laughs> that's incredible. That was good. What do you give that? That's a ten. That's an eleven. That's in the car. <clears throat> that's ten skates. That's two two extra stoppers and the fat laces. <laughs> he killed that. Killed that. Yeah, man. If you new, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow the Instagram. Um, oh, sorry for the long that. reaction. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, I'm, I'm, yeah, that was long, but hey, it is what it is. Um, he killed that though. I, it's, I don't even know what I just listened to. And that it's was, a true story. They say that was that was crazy. That was crazy. Y'all be safe, gang. No, boy. If you remember. Y'all know, y'all know I like my popsicles, and I'm gonna explain. I've already explained it, but I'll, I'll explain it again at some other point. But if you remember making Kool Aid extra sweet just so you could put it in the freezer and make your own ghetto popsicles, go ahead and like, comment, or subscribe, man. Y'all be safe, gang. Peace.